Hello YouTube. Uh, this is a follow-up video to the previous one. Uh, in the previous one, I explained how to create a OTG cable to um, that you can charge at the same time with and use a USB stick or some hub. Uh, today I want you to show what can you do with that cable on a Android phone or on my tablet in Android mode. So this is a 2 amp uh, power brick. This is a JZX Studio uh, power meter. That's my phone, also Zenfone 2. This is a TPC 800 uh, tablet from Vivax. I have a remote mouse, a, uh, external hard drive, USB drive, USB hub and the USB for the mouse. And I have uh, an Y OTG cable pre-made bought from eBay. So this is a male micro USB. This is a female USB. In this you put the USB hub or external hard drive or something else. And this is for the power source. This is my cable that I have created. My own. With a 100k resistor inside so and I have a standard OTG adapter now I can show you what's happening when you so zoom in so I connect this in my phone and can see it's nothing happening because mm -hmm. you must plug it first into this and then into the phone and it will recognize it see so the disk is recognized and it's working. That's the standard one. When I use my creation, I stick it in. I stick it in the power meter. It's showing 400 milli milliamps. And it's charging my phone. <coughs> it's displaying it's charged. Oh, you can see it's charging. Periodically, it stopped charging because poor connection. Uh, so, when I try to connect an external device, it will not recognize it. And it's not working. <coughs> uh, it's not working for Android phone with this method with 100k resistor but when I use this J type thing I connect this into the power meter this side I connect it's to my phone. So connect. Now it's charging four hundred and thirty milliamps, but it's not showing on my phone that it's charging. Okay. But it's charging. So I put um, the USB stick into this 
and it will recognize it. See? Now, and I can browse normally. So, that's working. And it's charging at the same time. It's not showing on the phone, but it's charging. I plug this and I use my Intex hub stick it in here I connect the little dongle for the remote and it's working it should work see you know that see wait you can see the, the mouse moving I can click normally it's working now I connect an external uh, the USB stick and it will recognize it it's, it's recognized okay but when I try to connect two devices, it won't recognize it. When I stick only the hard drive, it will spin up, it will show about one amp and it will recognize it eventually. I hope. Mm -hmm. Okay, this program won't, won't show it. The external hard drive. It won't show it. But I download the S player, uh, S file manager. download it ok it's installing so open it's now open and it's showing me only the internal memory of my phone Okay, so when I connect this, okay, okay, and it's showing me 232 gigabytes capacity of the external hard drive. I will show you this. See? So this is the drive. And in the same time, the mouse is working. But when I try to connect one more device, storage device, it will not recognize both of them anymore. I don't know why. Leave the comment in below. I really don't know. It's now pulling 869 uh, milliamps. When I unplug this, it will show again the external disk drive. So this is for 
this session. Um, I hope it's helpful for, for you guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe.